So in today's video, we're gonna kind of do a Skylights 101 where we just kind of go over the different types of skylights, the different materials, and just generally anything you need to know about skylights. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. So today I'm here with Chad Fiesel with Palrem. So Chad, we get a lot of questions about skylights from our customers and thought it'd be nice to kind of do a Skylight 101 video here. So what different types of materials are skylights made of? There, there's two common types, is that correct? Well, the most common type that you're going to find in the, uh, the corrugated uh, industry are fiberglass and polycarbonate. Fiberglass has been around for over 60 years. Uh, that was probably, you know, the original skylight. You know, basically you're going to get about 30 to 40 percent light transmission value with a uh, fiberglass panel. Um, the fiberglass panel, it's a plastic panel that gets its structural integrity from fibers. The polycarbonate is it does not require those glass fibers to make to achieve a structural integrity of the panel. What is a polycarbonate skylight? You know, basically it's a translucent panel. Uh, the idea behind the polycarbonate skylight is that you're going to, um, it's, it's going to have, it's going to match the corrugation of the, uh, the metal profile that you're using in a building. Uh, it's going to allow natural daylight into the building and help you reduce uh, your energy costs, your need for you know, artificial light within that building. What has better light transmission, a fiberglass panel or a, um, or a poly panel? With the uh, fiberglass panel, typically you're going to get about 30 to 35% light transmission. And that's, you know, normally what you're going to expect from a fiberglass panel. With a polycarbonate panel, you've got three different options. Um, and these are based on the color options that we produce our polycarbonate panels in, our SunSky product. You've got a clear panel, which allows 90% light transmission. Then you have what I call our soft white panel. Uh, it allows 85% light transmission. But in addition to that 85% light transmission, you also get 100% diffusion of the light. And then a third color is a, a, a standard white panel that we manufacture as well in polycarbonate. And that panel is, we made that panel uh, with the idea that you're going to get 45% light transmission with that panel. And that kind of mirrors what people were typically used to with the fiberglass panels. So we talked about the different colors. We talked about the two different materials that are for skylights. Uh, what type of panels can you get skylights in? But here in the States, for the most part, you know, we're going to have an R panel. We're going to have a nine inch ag panel. 7.2 both of the uh the corrugated panels the uh the two and a half inch uh with the half inch high rib and then the seven eighths inch high rib so my understanding of skylights is i, I see them on the roofs all the time but you you mentioned to me earlier that it's becoming more commonplace to have them installed as siding and, and actually lots of them installed as siding can, can you kind of elaborate on that a little more please you know obviously for years people have had uh, issues with skylights leaks so what people have done is they've taken that out of the equation by moving the the their daylight option, their skylight, from the roof and putting it into the wall instead. Ah, okay. So, you know, for instance, I've seen a number of uh, large manufacturing facilities where, um, you know, when you come down off of the roof and that first six to eight feet, um, on the exterior wall will be just on the entire leg, the entire run of that wall will be um, a, a skylight. What's important to understand about natural daylighting is energy costs go up every year, right? They don't go down. One thing that companies can do to, to offset the rising costs of energy is when they incorporate natural daylighting into their building. Um, that way they don't have to have as many lights 
on in the building at any one time. So that kind of leads to maybe the pros and cons of skylights. So, I mean, obviously one of the biggest pros of skylights is energy savings. Um, mm -hmm. I, I can see one of the biggest cons would be it's probably a little more prone to leak versus, uh, versus, versus a metal panel. What, what are some other pros and cons you can think of with, uh, with skylight panels? One of the things that you need to take, take into consideration when you're installing um, any type of skylight pan, and it, this could be fiberglass or it could be polycarbonate, is plastic. Both of these I, both of these products are made out of a plastic material, and plastic expands and contracts at a different rate than metal. So you have to accommodate that during the installation process. The way that you do that typically is that you oversize the fastening point. So the holes that you're going to be screwing through, attaching your panel to the uh, to the structure, need to be roughly an eighth of an inch larger than the screw shank of, you know, the screw that you're using to attach these to. And then in addition to that, what we recommend is you use a an EPDM washer on your screw head that's large enough to cover that larger screw hole. Chad, I'm sure there's more than one manufacturer of poly, poly skylights. What makes the SunSky skylights better than the, than the other poly manufacturer skylights? Power Ram manufacturers are Sun skylights in the United States. Um, one of the things that we do or that the industry does to mitigate and protect the polycarbonate from UV damage is by adding a UV protective layer onto the top of the panel. PowerRam has a very unique process for doing that. What we do is we co-extrude the UV protective layer onto the panel as the panel is being extruded through our, our, uh, our extrusion process. And what that's doing is that is fusing that, that protective layer onto the panel so that that protective layer doesn't wipe off, doesn't wash off, doesn't rub off. It's by far the more superior method to do that. And we're, we are unique in how we do that through our co-extrusion process. So Chad, uh, maybe you can talk to me about the strength and the impact resistance of the poly skylights. Can you walk on them? What if, what if hail hits them? You know, give me some examples of this, please. Polycarbonate by itself is used in, in applications such as uh, um, helicopter windshields, um, bulletproof glass. So the product itself is extremely strong. Um, we don't recommend that people walk on uh, the skylight panels, uh, not because we're afraid that the panels are going to break. Uh, it's mostly due to installation, you know, because we can't. That's one thing that we can't control. So right. uh, the standard polycarbonate panel comes in a. a uh, 0.8 millimeters in thickness. And with that thickness, we're confident that the panel holds up to up to a quarter inch size hail. Oh, right? that's impressive. Just, what about knowing how far to span this, span it from support to support? Are there low charts available for, for the different panel We do have low profiles? charts on each, of the manu on each of the profiles that we manufacture. At Western States Metal Roofing, we inventory skylight panels. We have them immediately available in all four of our locations, and we can ship them anywhere throughout the country. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.